When Annabelle says this name, we all know who this is, so here is the picture of the doll taken in the movie Annabelle and it is a picture of the Annabelle doll who is said to have superhuman strength. If you want to find more information, do a Google search, this Ed and Lorraine have a separate website related to the story. Then let's we go to the story. The world we live in is full of realities that we have to accept even if we don't want to. One yearns for a scientific explanation of all things in this world, while others show a reverent fear of the mystical. Whether or not there is another mysterious world in the world we live in is an eternal debate. However, when the cowards retreat, there are not those who are sick from going to peek into the supernatural world with a cultivated courage. There are hundreds of cursed objects scattered around the world, from the tomb of Tutankhamun to the crying baby, the list is long. The story about the Annabelle doll spread rapidly around the world with the production of the movie Conjuring by the director James Wan. This doll, which is still safe in the museum of Ed and Lauren Warren, a real-life occultist couple, is a completely different cloth doll than the one shown in the movie. Raggy Doll, was recreated by James in a more frightening manner for creative work. By the year 1970, Donna, who was a school student, was gifted an Annabelle doll bought from a thrift store by her mother. At that time, Donna and Danji, who lived together with her friend Angie in the dormitory of the school, sometimes felt strange about this doll, but they did not take it too seriously. At first they didn't pay much attention, but soon they both realized that the doll was moving from place to place. Donna and Angie's friend, Lou, didn't like the doll either. She always said that the doll had some mystery and they should throw it away. However, Donna and Angie, who were fashionable urban girls, did not take it into serious, thinking that there was some explanation for such mysterious events. It didn't take long for everyone to realize the truth. One day, Donna comes to the dormitory after school and sees the Annabelle doll covered in blood-red liquid all over her body. Acting immediately, Donna Lou and Angie bring in an intercessor to find out the secret about this doll. The person informs them that some time ago there was a wasteland where they lived and the spirit of a little girl named Annabella Higgins who died there has entered this doll. He further said that they have no problem with her soul and that the girl wants to live with them in the body of the doll. Accordingly, Donna and Anaji agreed. A very big mistake happened to the intercessor. It is only after that that the doll starts to become more violent. Although they could not prove it with evidence, they soon began to understand that this doll was very scary. The girls, who meet Ed and Lorraine at the property through a priest, seek their help. As soon as the experienced Warren couple saw it, they realized that this doll was not a possessed spirit, but a demon bound to a doll. As long as it is free, the only purpose of that spirit is revenge, it does not need reasons. Taking the doll back to their museum was not an easy task for the Warren couple. Stopping the vehicle for no reason on the way. Applicability of sudden speed. When they had to navigate obstacles such as brake failure, Ed soaked the doll completely with holy water where the trouble was too much to bear. This gave them a temporary reprieve and enabled them to take the doll safely to the museum. They brought another priest to drive out the demonic spirit from the doll's body and after the exorcism process was over, the puja left saying, It's just a cloth doll, there's nothing I can do about it. It was the priest's last journey and on the way to the church, the vehicle overturned and he lost his life. Eventually, the Warrens decided to lock the doll in a box. This put an end to the doll's frenzied behavior and ability to move from place to place and reduce their troubles. However, the demonic spirit still exists in this doll, which is kept in a safe deposit box at the Warren Museum. To new more knowledge like this, subscribe us on YouTube, One Minute Knowledge.